Hello guys, hope you're all having a great day. In this video, I have something a bit unusual compared to what I usually upload. I'd like to talk about the new Laws of War DLC for Armour 3, and specifically, I want to talk about the mini campaign Remnants of War that comes with the DLC, and why it's, in my opinion, a revolutionary piece of storytelling for armour. You see, loads of these military shooters tend to skim over the subject of any real life implications of war. It's all about shooting the baddies and riding off into the distance in your evac helo like nothing ever happened. But as you know, that's simply not the reality. War has costs. And as the DLC slogan goes, actions do have consequences. Civilian lives, infrastructure and ways of life are all impinged on by war. And more critically, we see this over a timeline of events in Oreo Castro, a town you're probably familiar with from Altus. These events show how people are affected long after a war has ended. There is a huge focus on memory recall and the mental trauma caused by war. And all of this is set up in a town in Altus that most of us never probably cared for much before we knew its war-ridden backstory. What's the deal with the church? Can we get in or what? Sorry, Mac. No dice. NATO's got first dibs. They're bringing their boys home. What really struck me with this campaign is just how much time that must have been spent on the meticulous attention to detail with object placement, voice acting and cutscenes. Now I've cut up various clips here and there of me playing the campaign but I've tried my best to keep spoilers to a minimum. The main gist of the story is that you are Nathan McDade and I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of that name, <laughs> but you are an explosive specialist from IDAP who is being interviewed by a journalist on the long term effects after the war on Stratus and Altus has ended. So it's really nice to see some continuation with the main single player campaign here. But what really shines is the fact that we get to play across multiple timelines as Nathan remembers different memories of his time spent in Altus. You know, Alexis' house, his workshop, it was like something from another time. I'm not quite sure I'll follow. Pounding of a hammer, back and forth of a wood saw, I don't know. Things felt simpler back then, is all. Far cry from what was to come. I'll be honest, it really is quite upsetting at times because you get to see civilian life as it once was through these very clever flashbacks as you can see on screen now. Uh, shout out to this weird goat. <laughs> and there are also some funny easter egg kind of memories too. But this has never really been done in an armor single player before and I can't say I've ever seen it in any other campaigns I've played. You get this sense of how life once was with the voice acting accompanying scenes of where children used to play or where a mechanics workshop once was. In the campaign you learn about how war has devastating consequences on everything in its path. People, their businesses, animals, the environment, buildings, historical monuments, the list goes on and on as you can probably imagine. This is all something you don't see in many other military shooter games. Rather than the standard kill all the bad guys style, we've actually got something a lot more serious and mature to contend with. 
Also, because everything is told in a retrospective view, the journalist's conversation with Nathan helps to push the player along the story without endless arrows and instructions telling the player where to go, what to do and who to shoot. Does that match up with events as they were given to you? Yeah, though to manage a guided strike like that, they must have had thermal imaging. All in all, it makes for a very, very freeing and immersive single player campaign. I think with all of my reasons listed, both Die Hard and new armor players will really appreciate learning about a new perspective of the battlefield, a more human perspective. As with other more content-based DLC such as Jets and Marksman DLC where we are going to get new kit to play with, I'd say this DLC is more revolutionary in the sense that we are not only getting new content but an entire learning experience that teaches us the real life implications of war. To the armor team that brought this whole thing together, I can only put it down in one word, splendid. <laughs> but seriously, this is really excellent stuff and the reason I call it revolutionary is because it is very apparent that a lot of scripting manpower went into creating something like this. The innovation has definitely paid off and going off what other people are saying in the community, there has been a very positive reception for this DLC. If you're still on the fence, I would perhaps watch the first episode of a playthrough of the campaign just to see if it's for you or not. Or check out my cinematic trailer for this DLC which goes over pretty much all of the content you can expect in the Laws of War DLC. Anyway, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed my mini review of the Remnants of War campaign. I'll see you in the next one.